Hello oh, and welcome back to the Spike Zenotic Dual Cup 2022. We have Hot Dog vs Shipyard, we're on boil, it's time to go. Going to be starting off with a standard start. Hot Dog's probably going to pick up the Mega Armor. Has definitely already picked up the Mega Armor, wouldn't survive without it. Shipyard going to be pushing in quite dangerously there, was almost able to be taken out by one, would have taken only a little bit of chip damage and one direct grenade to go down, but manages to push in, secures the frag, which is good. Hot Dog able to secure the Mega Armor, the Mega Health should still be available to him, and I think Hot Dog will have moved over and been able to secure that Mega Health. Nice shot through the board floorboards for Shipyard. Both these players' styles are very interesting. I can't quite pinpoint it. I thought I'd pinpointed Shipyard's style, but Shipyard seems to copy the style of the opponent slightly. From only seeing versus two opponents, Mirio and Hot Dog. Uh, Shipyard copied Mirio's style very closely and then now playing against Hot Dog and this is very much Hot Dog style. Uh, I have seen quite a few, played against Hot Dog quite a few times and Mirio seen quite a few games and played against him quite a few times so those two I'm quite sure have consistent enough styles but Hot dog, I re uh, shipyard, I really can't pinpoint the style. We'll see some more. Hopefully, we see more of the players because they're uh, pretty good player. Being able to go toe to toe with players like Mario, like Hot Dog, the higher end. Really, anyone who made it into the uh, into the elimination playoffs section and didn't get eliminated during the group stage, pretty damn good player of this video game. Two to two at two minutes. Oh, please, please don't get the frag. Uh, I was hoping it was going to be two to two at two minutes and twenty-two, but no. Nah. Unfortunate. Shipyard taking the lead though, managing to back it up with that frag there. Now going to be looking to secure it with the mega armor, and heading over to the mega health. Getting all these items r and really well stacked now. This is the point where Shipyard needs to just sort of uh, push in a little bit and make those plays because Hot Dog will be on the back foot. But the problem is Shipyard still needs that that entryway, still needs that uh, that one hit that does quite a bit of damage and gets him through the door. And apparently that's going to be it with one rail. Manages to find that. Hot Dog going to get a couple of good shots there, quite nice. Being able to stop Shipyard's movement, but unfortunately Shipyard, just too stacked up right now, has very nice control over this map. And that's a nice shot. Uh, question about the lighting? Not sure. Been broken for a little bit on my system. But I really... This is... At least it's not solid black lighting. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Uh, with this. I do have dynamic lighting turned off. So if that's the issue. But it's just the flashes are really bad with dynamic lighting. Especially stood next to a wall. So I tend to turn them off. Just for the sake of visibility. And fake coronas. You just can't see anything. Hot dog pushing in, managing to make a good bit of damage, but Shipyard's going to uh, try and smash this one out and get another frag on the board. Hot dog having to play very carefully, backpedal out of here. Going to push in now, interesting. Has Hot dog managed to pick up some good health, or does he just want to try and pretend that he's managed to take something? Shipyard now, though, able to pick up the Mega Armor. Going to swing around, going to be in the position for the Mega Health, but sh Hot Dog's going to connect a couple of good shots. Get a good bit of damage off. 
and uh, negate a little bit, not entirely negate those two major items of course, but negate a little bit of the loss of those two major items. Halfway through now though, and Shipyard does keep control, so this is just what we saw in the last map. We saw this control, uh, this control para uh, paradigm where last time Hot Dog had control over the map, Shipyard just wasn't able to come in, and whenever he did, it was just not enough. But Shipyard really able to push this and take some easy frags while Hot Dog's a fresh spawn with not many weapons. And as long as they manage to keep control of the items, we should be seeing, uh, seeing good control. Shipyard's movement is incredible. I'm sure they come from Clan Arena at this point because I've seen multiple uh, mid-air rocket type moves and stuff like that. Just lots and lots of repeated self-damage. But... Uh, and sometimes with absolutely no regards for current health levels, which is why I think Clan Arena may be part of this. Hot Dog managing to pick up that item, and Shipyard now on 25 health. Hot Dog can't be too high, which is why Shipyard's able to take him out. Beautiful shooting there. And now... Shipyard's going to be looking for just some more frags. Hot Dog's looking for a way back into this game, but unfortunately is only finding the other end of the grenade that Shipyard's just shot. Nice positioning there. Hot Dog coming around the corner at exactly the moment you'd expect him to, right on time for the item. And Shipyard is stood there, ready to deal the damage, get the frag. That blaster work, really helpful on this map. Uh, making use greatly of the verticality of oil. A beautiful shot there. Shipyard managing to connect all those together. Hot dog going down again. We have a little bit of a one-sided game. We're now just getting into that point where realistically sh uh, shipyard should have this one because hot dog has just fallen into the void and lost a frag congratulations mate but shipyard should have control over this one we can see if hot dog manages to pull this one back and although it's very unlikely in two minutes that hot dog will pull back all these frags if he can manage to gain control at all that will be very interesting to see. It will show a weakness in Shipyard. What's Hot Dog able to exploit? Because he's got Hot Dog has to exploit a weakness at this point. But I think Hot Dog's weaknesses are coming out with just... I'm on the back foot. Rush forwards. Let's just turn off my brain. And that's fair enough. It's, it's a style of play I tend to just use all the time. Um, I have done for many years. I wonder why I was never quite that good at Duel. But it is often a very nice thing when you know you've got another map coming up next. Just turn off your brain, plus forwards. We all like to play the game without thinking. We all really like to play the game without thinking. Hot Dog's fallen out of the world again? I'm fairly sure he keeps forgetting there's no window on that corner next to the vortex. Because like, there's no pressure. <laughs> and he's just walked straight off the side twice. Very unfortunate there. Might be able to get this frag though if you can connect any decent amount of shot. Shipyard has so much ammo though, that's the thing. Now Rook's gone. And that's going to bring back the game a little bit, having to think about it. And we can see Hot Dogs basically just pressured Shipyard by pushing so hard and chipping away. And effectively he gave up 10 frags to get one. Because that's how much damage he had to do to Shipyard. To be able to chip them away and find the other side. And find that hit. So Shipyard now... Try to get back. Oh, sorry. Try to get back the control 
There's only 10 seconds left, but it's always worth trying to get back your control, especially going into the next map. You know, you want to set yourself up well. If you had control, if you didn't have control, try and clear your head, like Hot Dog's been doing, just plus forwarding. That's a beautiful way to end it with a frag that was pretty much suicide. But there we are. Shipyard takes it quite convincingly from Hot Dog. And now we're going to head into the third match. So I will see you on that one.